Hello and welcome back to science. I hope you've enjoyed your time away with your other course. We now will start our second four week session of science. In this unit, we will be doing the Project Lead the Way Magic of Electrons. So what you're going to have on the first virtual Monday is that you will have this video that you're listening to now. You'll have Mr. Eddy uh, go through some of the things in his class, and I will go through some of the things in my class. So as we start to go through this, we will have a lot of things that are the same, but we'll have some things that are different. So first, some of the things that are the same, we will still take notes. Hopefully you found out that taking the notes last four weeks was very beneficial. As you probably know, there'll be another Prove It project at the end, and the more notes and the more homework that you do in the beginning should be helpful to you when it comes to the Prove It project. The lessons will be in the same format. You'll have a doc, just like you can see here on the screen. You'll complete each step. Everything is linked in the document. You'll have exit tickets, and you'll submit to Canvas. Some days there may be a discussion. Some days there might be something else in Canvas. But for the most part, the docs are the most important. Mondays, again, are set up as optional Zoom meetings. They are a chance to check in. So if you are 100% virtual, that would be a very good thing just to check in and let us know how you're doing. If you are in the week that is not in session, that would be another good reason to check in to see if you had a question on anything or if there was anything that Mr. Eddie or I could help you. As I said before, there will be a Prove It project at the end. And remember, that is the way to show that you have mastery on the learning targets. If for some reason there were some learning targets that you did not meet the first four weeks that you were in our classes, you can still meet those. So talk to Mr. Eddie, talk to myself, talk to me and say, hey, what do I need to do? Is there something that was really close? Especially if you had it and you didn't submit it or you had a few comments, something easily that you could fix. And flexibility is going to be the key. You know, if the learning style needs to change, then we will make it work. So if we continue in the hybrid, this will be the main focus of what we are working on. More hands-on compared to the last time, but if we all go virtual, there will have to be some changes made. Leading then, what will be different from the first time we were here? Well, there's no textbook. So as all of us know that have done Project Lead the Way before, there's no textbook. Instead, there'll be slideshows, and the slideshows are the basis of your notes. So the good thing is you don't have to try to click into a textbook, hope that it works, hope that it doesn't work. Now it's just simply you go to the slides, there'll be a lecture format, and in the lecture format, it will even tell you when to stop, what notes to take, so you can do them at your own pace. Students in person will be doing things a little different than the people that are virtual. So this is because our hands-on nature of the unit. So there will be no packets. So when you are at home, you will be doing the opposite work of the people who are in class. Now we have different options for those who are 100% virtual. So right now, the main thing is there'll be more hands-on compared to the last unit for the people that are in class. People that aren't in class, we have other options set up for you. So basically, what is magic of electrons? So for the people who have had Project Lead the Way before, we've had topics like design and modeling, we've had robotics, we've had uh, a variety of different topics. This one is called Magics of Electrons. And it's a unit based out of Project Lead the Way. So it's very hands-on. And the idea is that we'll be making items that we are learning about. This is something that we've been working on to get it right. And we will have to be flexible again. We really need to work together. You need to look at the lesson previews. You have to look at the directions. If you have questions, you have to contact. You know, thank you for the people who have said, hey, this didn't work or that didn't work. If it's something like Flash and we've made the videos, we've given you the opportunities, this is something where you have to be able to help yourself. 
And again, send an email. If you have some questions, attend the Zoom meetings. Most of you are very good at helping each other. Just a good chance to maybe hear a different voice from Mr. Eddie or myself. And this will give you the best chance to keep this stress-free and positive. So what we'll be working on, we'll be studying the atom. The atom goes into making everything that goes into the atomic structure. And within the atom, there'll be protons and neutrons and electrons, and you'll get to make your own model. For the people in class, we'll be making a lemon battery. You will take a simple lemon and you will make it into a power source. We also will be using what is called a snap circuit kit, and you'll be making your own circuit and circuit layouts. And we'll learn about the different types of circuits that we have. We'll be studying about electricity, which will inform many types of electricity. And one of your final projects will be wiring a mini lamp. Just like the last unit, there'll be two prove it projects. There will be our assessments for the unit. Make sure you are checking your comments. And when you submit, make sure you check your comments. And remember, the prove it's are your final evidence. Probably unlikely that it's a one word answer. Probably unlikely if you could draw it in a few seconds that it's going to be correct for Mr. Eddie or myself. And then if there's time, we'll work on a mini career project. So if you're like really interested in electricity, electric, electrical engineering, uh, we will talk about some of those things. We also have Newzella. Newzella will really be our main source of background information, especially without a book. Remember, if you had trouble logging into Newzella, there is a Newzella login video if you need that. But for the most part, you can log in with your Google. Remember, you still have your accounts if you were in my class last year, but logging in with Google is fine. And then you're going to read your first article on static electricity. So that's how the unit's going to go. Today, you'll get to watch a short video on the sorting electricity terms and activities. And then you'll get to play a little sorting game. You'll be able to put your score down. Then there's a nice documentary that will tell us about the connections that we did in trimester one and tr trimester four. And then some of the things here, what did you learn from the video and what would you be most interested in? I know a lot of people in the first term put nothing or everything, really try to do some of these things. It's, it's trying to get you to think there's, yes, there's no really right or wrong answer, but then it also shows that you're active in what we are doing. Again, even in the pre-knowledge things back up here to the front, we sometimes say, hey, what do you know about this or that? You know, I think we all realize there's a difference between IDK and, you know, I'm not really sure. You know, really think about it and see where you thought of the word, because some of the words do have a different meaning than what we are talking about in our unit. So we're really excited. We've put in a lot of time and effort to try to make this enjoyable. Again, thank you for all your hard work in the Earth Science Unit. If there were learning targets, again, that you feel like you were close to that you could meet, let us know. This one will be a little different because it's hands-on and we'll stay fluid based on what and how the direction of our learning will be. So as you've heard many times, make sure you do everything, double check one more time, do everything again. And if you have a question, please email Mr. Eddie or myself and I hope you have a good four weeks. Thank you.